Hey guys, it's Evan. Welcome back to another video here on the channel. Today, I'm going to be drawing my character. If you guys haven't seen my character yet, here it is. Uh, he, me, there I am. Here's myself in cartoon form. So it's kind of based off of my gaming channel logo. It's myself with half a skeleton face. It's kind of like a mask. It's kind of like half my face is a skeleton. Pretty cool. Got a beanie and we got some purple hair going down and a hoodie. So I'm going to be trying to draw my character in a bunch of different art styles, including ones from movies, shows, and video games. So without further ado, let me show you guys what I'm going to be using to make these. First, I have my pencils. These aren't anything special because they're just like the line art and I'm going to sharpie over them anyway. Just got these mechanical pencils. I use these for school, so got them right there. So um, we just found this in a drawer. We have a whole new thing of sharpies and I'm going to be opening them right now. We are not going to obviously use all of these different colors. We're going to be using the same colors for each one unless I run out. So my logo uh, has a bit of different variations. One has this kind of color for the beanie. Some others have this, um, you know, brownish tone, but I'm gonna be sticking with this one for the beanie. And this I will use for my hair. But I will also, for some of them that I think it might look cooler in, I'm gonna be using this purple for my hair. Oh, and of course, a black. All right, now I'm ready. So first we're gonna start off with the Simpsons. So with the Simpsons, the style, it's pretty much, everyone has like these big eyes, you know, just the basic cartoon eyes you know, that you see. And everyone kind of has an overbite. Um, it kind of just adds to the funniness of, you know, the show. And um, just everything's very exaggerated. So they have big foreheads, and of course they are yellow, so I'll be uh, drawing mine yellow. So normally I, I draw my wavy hair, but um, it's kind of, the, the hair, they kind of have big foreheads, and their hair is kind of whacked out. So I'm kind of just drawing um, the hair pretty wacky compared to no what it normally is. The hair kind of just blends into their head. It's not, there's not really any hairs there. So the show's been around for a while since when my dad was a kid. And obviously the qualities, you know, improved over the years, but yeah. Now, like I said, um, I probably was gonna, you know, use some extra colors because I like, I like coloring a lot, so, you know. Okay, so next up we have the Adventure Time art style. Um, I wasn't really a big fan of Adventure Time growing up. However, I have gotten into it recently and just finished the series about a month ago and I really like the, the story and I think it's pretty cool. So with this one, the humans are actually um, skin colored, but their basic like shapes are very, very simple. Like I don't think they, I'm drawing ears, but I'm, I don't think they even have ears. It's kind of hard to tell because the main character does not have any, um, they're wearing a mask. Okay guys, so I just realized I forgot to draw the beanie on the Simpsons one. That is my fault, but at the same time, it would kind of look weird with a beanie and then you can get to see the hair. So next up is Naruto. I actually tried, I, I did start watching it. I think I completed season two. It just wasn't my kind of anime though. I, I, I did, the story, the story wasn't really getting me. It kind of got boring for me, but all my friends watch it. So I thought I might as well throw it in here. I'm not that good at drawing anime like I said, but it's nice. Um, this is gonna be legit. It's not gonna be me knowing how to do everything. All right, next we have South Park, and since these guys aren't really that detailed, I'm gonna just do the full body because, you know, it's kind of funny to draw. So I've never watched South Park. The only thing I've seen is what my dad showed me, the Mr. Hinky, the Christmas poo thing. Uh, everything else, I just obviously uh, I don't I don't know. Is it is it really that inappropriate? All right, so now I'm gonna be doing Steven Universe. So do you guys like Steven Universe? If so, how are you liking the new series? I think it's really good so far. Story is nice, music's good, and I'm just excited to see what happens next. If you guys watch it, let me know. Let me know what you guys thought of the movie as well. I love the movie. All right, so with Sonic, I don't know how I'm gonna draw this. I don't know if I should 
draw my character as like an animal or I, I'm gonna I'm gonna draw it more of like like an animal I'm gonna make it more of like an animal version so um, it's not gonna be a humanoid like every other single one I've drawn it's gonna be more like sonic species I mean I guess it's like a hedgehog but at the same time can you really call that a hedgehog man all right so next we have Pokemon uh, this one will be interesting. I'm going to be drawing Ash, kind of the Ash's kind of overall look with my character. At first, I was going to think about doing like a Pikachu, but that that, that would just uh, it would just not look good. It would just look strange. It would look wild. If you guys saw Detective Pikachu, uh, what did you guys think of it? I thought it was pretty good. My dad fell asleep, but if, uh, if you if you know a bit about Pokemon, all right. So for Gravity Falls, the characters have you know circular eyes and just you know normal pupils, like they're they're. They're just basically, you know, n normal people. The edges, everything is just kind of simple, sort of like Steam Universe, but not as like round, you know? They have harsher edges for some of the characters. It's very, you know, mysterious. So I'm kind of just gonna go with this for the skull and see how that looks. Okay, yeah, that looks good. Um, but you always gotta add expression to your characters so they don't really look dead inside, you know? So you guys don't know what Gravity Falls is about. It's about a brother, Mr. Dipper, and his sister Mabel. Basically, they go into Oregon, Gravity Falls to be specific, and live with their uncle, solve mysteries. It's a really good show, um, like especially season two. Uh, it's way better than the first. Like it, The show gets better as it progresses. I, I really like it. All right, next we're gonna be drawing Tim Burton style. You don't know who Tim Burton is. He's the one that made Nightmare Before Christmas. All the creepy kind of movies he directed. So I'm gonna be trying to draw in his art style. It's a very creepy and morbid version of my skeleton. Skeletons are kind of creepy on its own, so we're gonna try to make it really spooky. So all the characters kind of have tiny, not tiny pupils. I mean, just one single dot. And around it, everything's very just frigid. Like, there's a lot of lines around the actual eye itself. And it kind of just gives off that creepy vibe. Okay, I think I'm gonna color in the iris with this gray as well. It's making everything look so dull. Um, I'm gonna use this kind of, this, this purple is more bleh than the actual one I've been using. Yeah, this looks dead, this is the look I'm going for. All right, here we are to the final one, My Hero Academia. So this is my favorite anime of all time. So uh, this one should be fun to make. If you guys don't know anything about My Hero Academia, it's basically an anime where the whole world has these things called quirks, or at least a large percentage of the world. And one hero, the main one, Deku, basically he doesn't have a quirk, he gets it passed down to him and he becomes the greatest hero of all time. So it's pretty great. I love the story. I'm so excited because at the time of me recording this, got a new episode tomorrow. Um, I don't know, I'm just really hyped about the show. The show is awesome, my favorite anime by far. They all have their hero costumes. So I'm gonna, this I guess would be, if I was a, if I was a, a superhero, or if I had a quirk, yeah, superhero in um, My Hero Academia, this is what I would transform into. I'm gonna kind of just put my hair down because in this scene, uh, the wind's probably blowing a bit. I don't know what my power would be if my quirk, um, maybe I can turn people automatically into skeletons and then they die. I don't, I don't know. I feel like that would be a bit too OP. Okay, so first up, I did The Simpsons. Here it is. Here is me in The Simpsons art style. Pretty cool. I did forget the beanie, but it would kind of look weird just because of how I built the head of this guy. I actually made the skin yellow. Every other thing, the skin is just normal, except for the Tim Burton one, but I made it yellow, put the skull mask, and gave myself a purple hoodie to you know wrap it all up and give it kind of my, my style of hair. Next, we have Adventure Time. Here it is. Not much to explain about this one. I drew it in the Venture Time style, give myself a purple tongue, and you know, with a skull mask, simplistic, because that's what this art style is. Give myself some wavy hair and the beanie. Next up is Naruto. I actually added the Naruto headband onto this one. Kind of fleshed out the skull more in this one as well. Give myself kind of that wavy grin that it's always in anime. And 
and the purple hair and beanie as always. Next is South Park. Uh, this one was kind of the easiest to do. Basic, really, it's just a circle head with a circle eye, kind of frowning with the skull and the hair coming out of the beanie with a purple jacket on this time. This is the only full body one I did because, you know, it's so simple. Next we got Steven Universe, my favorite cartoon show. I really uh, made the skull very, um, like, you know, it's, it's, it's very rounded in this one. Got nice um, eyebrows with a gem on my beanie. Hair coming out with the pink star. A shirt underneath the purple jacket, just like how Steven has his. Just not the same colors, but yeah, Steven Universe. Okay, we got Sonic. Um, this is the one video game. I originally had like multiple, I guess you could count the Pokemon one as a video game, but that'll be safe for part two if this video does good. So make sure to share it with your friends. So here we have Pokemon. Um, this is based off of the Pokemon anime, not the games. So I kind of tried to replicate that art style in this one. And this is just my basic character. I didn't really add anything special. I just made it kind of look like Pokemon. All right, third to last, we have Gravity Falls. Just like the last one, my basic character, but I made it in this style. So we got the purple hair coming out of the beanie, skeleton, and um, yeah, the eyeball. Okay, so these next two ones is where it starts to get a bit more strange. Here we have the Tim Burton style Evan. This one is very scary. Um, we got the skull mask on one side, but it has a giant gaping hole with spiders coming out of it. I made the whole thing just dull and gray, dull colors, dull purple. Got the evil grinning teeth, scary eye, weird nose, weird ears. It's just very off-putting. And finally, to the one I like the best, we have the My Hero Academia art style. So this one I actually did some shading on because I knew that this one was probably gonna be my favorite. Did some shading on the hair, some of the other parts, added some lightning effects as well. The skull in here is probably my favorite too, just of how kind of like pointy it is, because that's the kind of the whole goal of the skull. That kind of sounded good. But, um, you know, got the eyes in there. The eyes are very detailed. Same with, you know, just got a simple mouth and yeah, just rocking the hair, the beanie. And I think this one is definitely my favorite. But I want to hear what you guys think. Make sure to leave a comment down below on which one was your favorite. And if you guys want part two, yeah, like I said, leave a like and leave a comment on what other art styles I should try to mimic. For video games, movies, TV shows, you name it, it might be in part two. And make sure to send your fan art of my character to hashtag EvansTubeArt on Instagram, Twitter, whatever you want, and I'll try to take a look at it and show it in the next video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Oh.